Hi everyone, it's Lua from TradingEnergy.com and this is a weekly outlook for gold and silver price for the week of January 7th to the 11th. So let's get started. So what happened last week? Gold and silver prices didn't do much on a weekly scale. Even though gold, both gold and silver sharply rose by, uh, in the first couple of days of the week following the optimism of uh, resolving the fiscal cliff, but then uh, resumed their downward trend and sharply uh, fell in the last couple of days. So on a weekly scale, both gold and silver remain virtually unchanged. So what should we expect for the upcoming week of January 7th to the 11th? On Monday, the Australian trade balance report will be released. In the previous update, the seasonally adjusted balance of goods and services expanded its deficit to to reach to nearly two billion Australian dollars as of October. The exports of uh, the expor- exports of non-monetary gold rose by 102 million. If gold exports will continue to rally in the forthcoming report, it may suggest a, an increase in demand for gold. On Tuesday, euro area retail sales uh, uh, report will be released. In October, retail sales declined by 1.2%. If this report will continue to show a drop in sales, it may weaken the euro and consequently gold and silver. On Wednesday, German factory orders uh, a monthly update will be released as well. This report will uh, will show uh, will refer to November. As of the previous report regarding October, factory orders rose by 3.9%. On Tuesday, China's trade balance report and also new loans uh, report will be released. Uh, it's tentative to be released on Tuesday, but could progress uh, later on this week. For the trade balance, according to the recent report, uh, the trade balance declined to $19.6 billion surplus. If the surplus will continue to dwindle, it could suggest that China's economy is slowing, uh, progress is slowing down. On the other hand, in regards to new clo- uh, new loans, uh, the new loans, as of the previous report, changed direction and slightly rose. So if uh, the new loans will, will start to pick up, it could uh, uh, show that there is some progress in regarding to expanding the monetary base of China. On Wednesday, German industrial production report will will come out. In the previous report, German industrial production declined by 2.6%. The U.S. will uh, will issue another bond auction for 10-year uh, bonds. As of uh, last month, um, the bond auction in the bond auction the average rate reached 1.65 percent, which is slightly lower than the previous uh, uh, auction. If this trend will continue and rates will continue to decline, it could suggest the traders are becoming more bearish. On Thursday, there is a Great Britain's uh, bank rate and asset purchase program. Uh, that will be released for uh, January. As of December, Bank of England kept the interest rate at 0.5% and the asset purchase plan also at 375 uh, billion pounds. ECB will also uh, come up with its interest rate. The last time the bank decided to cut the rate was back in July 2012. Back then, it declined by 0.25 pps to reach 0.75 percent, which is the current rate. There are many reasons why the ECB could decide to lower the rate again, including the slow progress of the EU economy, the inflation uh, remains stable, and the Fed's uh, recent uh, stimulus uh, that should have uh, reduced should have re- should have reduced the U.S. dollar and consequently strengthened the euro. And ECB, uh, if ECB will decide this time to make the rate cut, it could adversely affect the euro. U.S. jobless claims weekly updates as of the previous update. Jobless claims rose by 10,000 to reach 372,000. 
This report could affect the US dollar and consequently gold and silver. Japan current, current account update will be released on Thursday as well. It will show the changes in the exports and imports uh, to and from Japan during last month. This news may affect the strength of the yen. On Friday, there is the Canadian trade balance report uh, and the American trade balance report. As of for the American trade balance, um, in the recent report regarding October, the goods and services deficit rose during the month to reach $42.2 billion. This report could suggest what is the uh, trend in regard to the demand for commodities in the US and consequently could have some effect on, on commodities prices. In regard to the Canadian trade balance report, it could have some effect on the Canadian dollar and consequently gold and silver, which tend to be strongly linked with uh, the Canadian dollar. And finally, there's the US federal budget balance. As of the recent uh, report regarding, regarding November, deficit grew by $172 billion to a deficit of $292 billion for the fiscal year of 2013. As a comparison, in the parallel time in 2012, this was uh, $235 billion, which, is, which means that there is a, an increase of nearly 24% compared to last year, to the last fiscal year. If this trend will continue, the budget, the budget deficit will continue to expand by a higher pace than in recent years, it could also uh, uh, accelerate the, the time frame until the US government will need to in, increase and to augment again the deficit, the debt ceiling. That's it for more on gold and silver. You're welcome to check out my blog at tradingenergy.com. Thank you for listening. Have an excellent week.